Well, welcome to Pure Art Ministries and Ignited Mentoring Series. My name is Robert Pears. I want to talk about the baptism of the Holy Spirit and give you insight from Smith Wigglesworth. Jesus, as I've said several times, said that it was better that He goes away so that He could send us the Holy Spirit, the gift of the Father. And He shared a lot regarding the ministry of the Holy Spirit and that through the ministry of the Holy Spirit, of course, we would do the greater works. He just told us the Holy Spirit would be our comforter, our strengthener. He'd be the one that would take us aside and speak to us. He would guide us. He'd remind us of the things of Jesus. And He also told us that we were to wait until we received the Holy Spirit who would empower us to be witnesses. The Holy Spirit produces life in us. And when we yield to the Holy Spirit, the old wretch man is killed and the new man comes forth. By the Holy Spirit, we begin to cry out, Abba, Father, and we enter into such a wonderful, intimate relationship with Daddy God. Through the Holy Spirit, He can intercede through us with words that are effective, the right words for every situation to release the right resources for every need. The Holy Spirit changes everything. And so as I want you to understand, as you read the Word, that the Holy Spirit would so open your eyes to see, ears to hear, to understand the power and importance of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and that you need it, and it's available to you today. So let me share with you some insight from Smith Wigglesworth, and I'm going to crown it by saying, Holy Ghost, open our eyes, see ears to hear, and speak to us through the Word, breathe into us, and let each person go into the Word and get a personal revelation from heaven, so that their lives are built upon the Word, hearing and doing it, Father, that faith is mixed with the Word so that it produces results in our lives. I thank you, Holy Spirit, and I give you all the honor, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And of course, we know that um, John the Baptist said uh, in Luke, I think it's three, chapter 3, that Jesus would baptize us with the Holy Spirit in power. And of course, we know that Jesus said in John 21, He breathed in Him and said, Receive ye the Holy Spirit. And then in Acts 1.8, he said and you, they were to wait, and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes, and you shall be my witnesses. So as we look at, and there's so many more verses we could go into, those verses, we have to understand the importance and power of the ministry of the Holy Spirit and that we need to be baptized. Jesus' ministry started uh, when he was baptized in water, and then, of course, he was baptized in the Holy Spirit. And we see, of course, Daddy God declare over him, Thou art my beloved Son. And the Spirit of God came upon him like an, an, an image of a dove. And, of course, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, taken into the wilderness, came out of it in the power of the Holy Spirit. He walked this earth as a man filled with the Holy Spirit. And he did what he did as a man surrendered and yielded to the Holy Spirit. Perfect God, but perfect man, doing it as a man under the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. So let's share some insight from Smith Wigglesworth. First, you need the Holy Spirit, okay? How glad I am that God has baptized me in the Holy Ghost. What a wonderful difference it made in my life. And he truly was a witness of that because before the baptism of the Holy Spirit, he wouldn't speak, he wouldn't preach. As much as he had a great ministry, his wife did all the preaching and he just stayed in the background. He struggled because, uh, like myself, you know, he didn't learn to read or write till he was eight. And he did, his English wasn't that great. And so he ran from it because his natural man was too loud. But thank God the baptism of the Spirit takes you to the place where the natural man bows to the spirit man. Let me share this. What a wonderful divine position God means us all to have, to be filled with the Holy Ghost. There is something so remarkable, so divine, as it were, a great open door into all the treasury of the Most High. So the Holy Spirit comes into you, and it's like He opens the very treasury of heaven where all the resources we need to live this life effectively, successfully for His glory. Now, don't let the lust of your flesh confuse what's been said here. When I talk about the treasury, it's the grace, the riches of His grace towards you to empower you and enable you to be more than a conqueror in this life. You need it. Now, let me continue. As the Spirit comes like rain upon the mown grass, He returns the bareness into a greenness 
and a freshness and a life. And so every area of your life of brokenness, defeat, the Holy Ghost comes and breathes on those, those dry bones and declares life. Every area of you know, destruction, every area that's fallen apart, He restores. Because that's all, the Holy Spirit comes and He's the Spirit of life. Let me continue. The Spirit of the living God sweeps through all weaknesses. And I love that because I can boast of my weakness because the Holy Spirit now comes in this place of weakness and manifests the strength of heaven to enable me to do that which I cannot do so that I can leap over a troop, not by my own ability, but by the Holy Spirit. Everything you're called to do, you cannot. Everything that God calls you to do, you cannot do in your natural ability. You're going to need the Holy Spirit. He will take you above and beyond. Let me continue. Beloved God, the Holy Ghost wants to bring us to a great revelation of life. He wants us to be filled with all the fullness of God. God poured in you. You become a temple of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit fills you and begins to fill this temple with His glory. God living in us, magnifying and manifesting Himself through us to a world. Right on the banks of the Jordan, Trinity was made manifest. The voice of God in the heavens looking at His well-beloved Son coming out of the waters. And there the Spirit manifested in the shape of a dove. So we see the wonderful Trinity beautifully proclaimed and manifested in the baptism of Jesus, where the Father decrees over Him, Thou art my Son. And Jesus, the Son, comes out of the water and the Holy Spirit falls on Him, fills Him. My brother, it's the double cure you want. It is saving and cleansing and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Till the old man shall never rise anymore. Till you are absolutely dead unto sin and alive unto God by the Spirit. And know that the old things have passed away. See, most of us struggle so much with the old man. But the Holy Spirit turns up and He crucifies the old. Because, see, I cannot earn or make myself righteous, holy. But the Holy Spirit, as I yield, manifests through me His fruit. And everything we're looking for is in the fruit. I'm no longer fulfilling the lusts of my flesh man. But my flesh man is crucified and killed by the Spirit. And I now walk by the Spirit man who yields and surrenders to the Lordship of the Holy Spirit. Let me continue. When the Holy Ghost gets possession, there is a new man entirely. The whole being becomes saturated with divine power. We become a habitation of Him who is all light, all revelation, all power, all love. We become a habitation. So now we love like nothing new. We love with the very divine love. We live out and we are a light. The world is longing for the, re the revealing of sons, all creation. And the sons are those that are led by the Spirit. We, we discover that. And as I yield and become filled with the Holy Ghost, He begins to manifest that life, that light, that power, and that love in and through me that this world needs to see. Let me continue. How, oh, sorry, oh, this blessed Son of God wants to fill us with such glory till our whole body is aflame, with the power of the Holy Ghost. So you're so stirred up, so filled. I mean, it's an overwhelm that you have rivers of living water flowing out of you. There's a life in everything you say and do. There is just such an unction. And we have a wisdom and discernment and knowledge and understanding in every situation what to do because of the Holy Spirit, the great strengthener, the great teacher, the great comforter, the one who never leaves us nor forsakes us. And you have an intimacy and a relationship with him. After the Holy Ghost comes upon you, you shall receive power. God mightily moving within the human life. The power of the Holy Ghost overshadowing, inward moving you till you know there's a divine plan different from anything that you had in your life before. So everything, that all the dreams, the plans you had, all of a sudden fade and you see this bigger, greater plan uh, from heaven 
and the Holy Spirit comes and overshadows you and all of a sudden something bigger is inside of you and it begins to come forth from you a new hope a new day a new vision with a life and a power and the resources to do it so no matter what the call whether it's to business to ministry or whatever it may be God births in you something and the Holy Spirit now empowers you to do it and gives the resources and the life the vision for it oh the power of the Holy Ghost is to create new men and new women it is to take away the stony heart of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh by the Spirit and we become sensitized soft the more time I spend in the secret place because that's where you're going to have this wonderful baptism and where I can walk filled with the Holy Spirit in the secret place as I step in with such a desperation longing crying out for God the secret place there's such a hunger and my heart now by the Spirit of God is so softened all the walls all the things that I put up to protect myself all the pride and all their issues fall as the Spirit of God has such a work in me such a change in me and I want us changed I don't want to talk about someday I want it to be this day that I'm a different person I don't want to be somebody that talks about how I will walk in more love how next year or this year my goals are to do this I don't want goals I want the Holy Ghost to change me I want the Holy Ghost to work through me and I want to learn how to surrender to yield to yield to yield until the Spirit of God bores pours through me the fruit and I am a radically different person that's why I want and I want you to get the baptism because you cannot do it in and of yourself you need the baptism of the Holy Spirit and I want to share this that you know you look at when you got born again you received the Holy Ghost that's true I can take a glass and I can put water in the glass and the glass has the water and when I got born again I had the Holy Spirit but now I take that glass and I put it in a sink filled with water the glass no longer has the water the water has the glass and in the baptism you no longer have him he has you and I've got a video on the baptism of the Spirit and I've got several you can go and check them out uh, and just look on the playlist under the Holy Spirit and you're going to find a great deal of information I'm going to work on some more to really help and encourage you regarding the baptism and how to receive it so let me continue the Holy Spirit will empower you okay I can see that if you're going to accomplish anything we're going to have to have it because we're under the power of the Holy Ghost see so much of our lives we've done things in our own ability and based on our strengths but I love that God loves to take us into deep waters where your strength will not work and particularly as we look in 2021 and looking onwards that God has taken to a place where you need him and that's why I'm pressing upon you the secret place where you become so intimately aware and filled with him so that you have the power to do and God is able to stretch the pegs of your tents take you to a place that you can't imagine and give you the ability to do it some of you God wants to take you into jobs that you can't imagine that are beyond your natural ability but God would like Joseph give you supernatural ability and raise you up to do something beyond yourself mm. beloved God would have us to know in these days that there's a fullness of God where all other powers must cease to be all addiction stop all those plans and strategies that any must fail under the power of the Holy Spirit we could get a hold of this that the praying and the power of the Holy Spirit you enter into a new realm where the weapons of your warfare are mighty for the pulling down of strongholds when I do what I do by the Holy Spirit it is effective and I don't care how big the devil is I don't care how strong the devil is I serve a stronger God I got a bigger Jesus and the Holy Spirit manifesting in and through me the bigger Jesus the stronger strong man amen so no matter what you're facing no matter how strong that situation that addiction that problem you got a bigger answer in Jesus and the Holy Spirit if you will let him he's more than able to set you free there's nothing that he cannot overcome and will overcome as you yield and allow him to do so the Spirit brings revelation of Jesus 
because Jesus told that. He would remind us, he would he reveal us Jesus. He said the Spirit of the living God comes with such divine revelation, such an unveiling about Him, such a clearness of what He was to the people, and to bring us the breath of that eternal power that makes us know we are right here this very hour to carry out His plan for now and what God shall have for us in the future. All of a sudden, the Holy Spirit births in you that you have a purpose in this hour, that you are purposely planned for this hour, anointed and appointed, and you cannot do it in your own ability. And you may look, and the spirit of intimidation may try to come upon you, but you've been given a spirit of power, love, and soundness of mind, that you're bigger and greater, and you recognize that the greater one that's in you than he that's in the world. And imagine what you face as you stir out yourself up in the secret place and let the Holy Spirit so fill you to overflow that you are more than a match for every situation. Not in your own ability, but through the Holy Spirit. Amen? He said there's a necessity of being baptized in the Holy Ghost for a businessman. If you come into the baptism of the Holy Spirit, there is a new plane for your business. And I look at that that we so often think of the baptism strictly for ministry and for spiritual life, but it impacts every area of your life, including your business. It will impact your marriages. The baptism of the Holy Spirit will teach you how to walk and it will bring a restoration, restitution. It will change everything. Every answer you need is in the Holy Spirit, the baptism, because He opens the Word, He teaches the Word, He guides you, leads you, shares with you. I mean, He strengthens you. Hallelujah, we need the Holy Spirit. If we know the scriptures, there is no such thing as seeking for the Holy Ghost, but a place where we need to know that without we meet face to face with God and get all crooked places out of our lives, there will be no room for the Holy Ghost, for the indwelling presence of God. That's a secret place where you meet face to face with God, but not just meet him face to face, but it's a place where all of a sudden you are wrecked by him. It's a place of encounter, of visitation where you meet Him and it's so real, it changes you. It's not a passing event, but it's an event that scars you. And every time I go in, it's an encounter face to face where He is Lord. And every part of me quakes and trembles at His presence and changes me. And the Holy Spirit now has such a way in me. I'm yielding and yielding and surrendering. As I have the Holy Spirit within me, I see Jesus clothed for humanity. He was moved by the Spirit, led by the Spirit. And I look at the ministry of Jesus. It's hard to fully comprehend, except by the Holy Spirit. Because as you spend time in the secret place, the Holy Spirit begins to fill you. He begins to share with you, open your eyes so that you see things from a different perspective, from the very perspective of heaven. And now you understand why Jesus did what He did. And the compassion and mercy he had, even towards those that were cruel, mean, and evil towards him, he was overflowing with a mercy that changed everything. We read of some who heard of the word of God, but were not profited, because faith was lacking in them. We must have a living faith in God's word, quickened by the Spirit. And I, I, I so impress upon you, that you never open this word until you let the Holy Ghost reveal it to you. So you got to pray. Because as I come into the presence of the living God, and I open this word, I want faith. And then I found in the secret place, it's just like the atmosphere is just tangibly filled with faith. And the Holy Spirit breathes on me, and I hear this word. And of course, faith comes by hearing. I just, I hear it, and it produces faith in me by the Spirit. And so now there's a mixing and interaction of faith and the Word. And it causes a manifestation. It causes a consequence in me. It produces that thing the Word, the seed of the Word desires to produce. Amen? We must see that we are no good without God taking charge of us. But when He gets a real charge of us, what a plan for the future. And that's place where He has control over you in the secret place when I yield to the Holy Spirit. And when you let go of the reins, 
The Holy Spirit comes in and has a hope and a future. He brings about something bigger in and through you. You cannot begin to comprehend because we live so boxed in with our own opinions and thoughts and everything the world and the enemy and the flesh have put up and built around us. But when the Holy Spirit is allowed to come and He breaks down those walls, He expands the pegs of your tent and He reveals something bigger in and through you, a greater future that He has plans for you. And I love the fact that He has plans for your hope and a future because I have blown plans A, B, C, and D. But no matter how many plans I've blown, He always has a new plan to get me to back where I need to be. And as I learn to yield to the Holy Spirit, He so leads me. Oh, that's why I'm so grateful for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that is in every area of your life. Your relationships, your work life, uh, your, you know, your, your ministry life, your, your spiritual life. Every area of your life, the Holy Spirit will so minister, guide you, and teach you. Beloved, we must see the baptism of the Spirit is greater than all and must carry such a weight with you that you desire it, that you see the value and purpose and power in your life. That in the secret place, Holy Spirit, you've got to have a hold of me. I've got to be filled from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Wreck me. <clears throat> Hallelujah, the Spirit breathes. The Spirit lifts. The Spirit renews. The Spirit quickens. And you discover that in the secret place where the Spirit of God just suddenly lifts you, breathes into you, brings revelation into you, strengthens you, renews you. I mean, you are utterly changed. I love when I go out of the secret place so filled with the Holy Ghost. I've got a joy. I've got a peace. I've got a victory. I can face the enemy. I can face tomorrow. I can face every circumstance when I've been in the secret place and the Holy Spirit has been allowed to fill me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. You need the baptism. <sighs> Hallelujah. You ought to have such a baptism that everybody can tell you are baptized without you telling how you were baptized. I don't have to boast that I've been baptized. I have to boast that I've been in the secret place. The evidence manifest in my life and the Holy Spirit wants to manifest through you such a change such a victory reveal Jesus in and through you all the things that you've been trying to do all those things all those activities and everything else now you're not doing it from a dead works but it's a living force coming forth from you where Jesus is so real to you you're so in love with Jesus that everything you do I mean it just touches taste of Jesus and it reveals him by the Spirit. But we've got to simply come as a baby. And Smith has tried to explain that a baby just takes the bottle and just drinks it all. Just hungry. As we come into the secret place, I just come like a baby to simply receive all the resistance down. I don't question, I just come to receive all you have for me. I come to yield. I come to allow you to do in me, to change me. That's the wonder and beauty and power of the secret place where everything that was off limits is now open, revealed. And the Holy Spirit can have such a way because the secret place is somewhere I can trust. It's somewhere I'm secure. It's somewhere where I am kept. And it's the place where I can allow the Holy Ghost to do what He needs to do in me and know that I am safe. The Lord wants us all to be so like-mindedness with Him that He puts a seal upon us. I want to come in the secret place by the filling and baptism of the Holy Spirit to be so like Him that He can share with me, He can speak with me. Because we can walk together with we two are in agreement where I bow to his authority and he can share with me his secrets and his thoughts and his heart. Because his thoughts are not our thoughts, his ways are not our ways. But now I'm beginning by the Spirit of the Living God to understand and walk in it. And my way of thinking about life has changed. Thinking about business has changed. And I can have a sharpness, I can have a greatness. You know, when you face a challenge, the Spirit of God can put a wisdom in you, a sharpness, a clarity, a rightness. You know what to say, what to do at the right time. And I'm going to finish with this. Oh, I pray as I do, just that you would be so disturbed and desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And all you got to do is, if you're born again, 
is allow the Holy Spirit to come and cleanse out this temple and receive it. Just receive the Holy Spirit. Fill me from the top of the head to the soles of my feet. I got a video. Check out the video. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Simply trust the word. If I am baptized with the Holy Spirit, it's because Jesus said, You shall receive power. The Holy Ghost coming upon you. We must all have one idea. To be filled with the Holy Ghost. To be filled with God. I am spirit filled. Not because of what I feel. Not on the authority of what somebody else said. But on the absolute authority of the word. And if you will do it the word's way, the word works. And the Holy Spirit's available to you. You shall. Not you might, but you shall. And it's available to all who receive Jesus as Lord and Savior to come and fill you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. That you're not a glass full of water, but you're a glass in the water. That you would now go into the deep waters of the Holy Spirit and be radically changed today to step into something. I think most people have never really experienced it. They've not jumped into the barrel and said, God, have full control. Holy Spirit, fill me. Oh, I encourage you to check out my videos on being baptized in the Holy Spirit. And may they encourage you, strengthen you, and would you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you already have it, may it provoke you, strengthen you, and encourage you to live daily filled with the Holy Spirit in this hour. We need Him more than ever. Amen? And He's available to us. He will not leave us nor forsake us. And when He leaves, we leave. But you cannot live this life without Him. Any area of your life without the baptism and filling of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Well, I ask you to subscribe, like, and check out some of the other videos in this series, in the Ignited Mentoring series on the baptism of the Spirit, and some of the documentaries on the various heroes of faith. And may they build you up, encourage you, strengthen you, and provoke you to live boldly for Jesus, filled with the Holy Spirit. I pray you're blessed, and I encourage you to join our prayer partnership team. If the Lord leads you to share financially, great, but you don't have to be part of the prayer partnership team and to join some of our Zoom meetings where we come together to pray, to be ministered to the Lord, and to see what the Lord's going to do. I want you to know that we're praying for you, be praying for us, and know that this is a glorious hour. It may not look from the natural, but if you will get filled with the Holy Ghost in the secret place, you're going to see things from heaven's perspective, and you're going to look up. Be excited because you're going to know that God is on the move. And greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. We'll be blessed. Be encouraged in the name of Jesus. Amen.